Work solutions to the homework on page 119 of New Lake. Okay, so question number 255. There's a graph. And we've got this function coming down to negative 1. And on the y-axis, it is at 1. So it comes from 3, negative 3, down here to negative 1, 1. And there's a circle. So when you see that gap, it means that point's not included on the graph. But you'll see there is a solid dot up when y is 3. Now from there the graph goes up and becomes really steep and this way five. it's coming down from the 1 all the way back down to x is 3. So there's a solid dot and then the graph goes back up to y is 3, x is 3 and comes down. There's a gap at 6, 1 and then continues down here. Okay. So you can see on this graph that when it's going to negative 1 from both sides, the graph is approaching y equals 1. Um, so the limit, even though at that point the function value is 3, at x equals negative 1, the actual function value is 3, but... The limit as x goes to negative 1 is 1 because that's where it's going to. That's where the graph is going to. Okay, so part b. When x is going to 1, so x is going to 1 from both sides, so from the negative side, it's coming up, it's going to infinity. From the positive side, it's also going to infinity. Because it will never reach infinity, the function value is not infinity, but the limit as x goes to 1 is infinity. All right, part C. So the limit is x goes to 3 of f of x equals, so from this side when it's coming close to 3, going to 0. From this side it's going to 3. So because those two points are not the same we say it does not exist. Right. Part D. The limit is x goes to 6 of the function. So this is just like the first one. From this side it's going to 1. From this side it's going to 1. So it equals 1. And that's the first question. Right.
question 256. So we've got another graph here. And on this graph, it starts at negative 3, 3, comes down to there, there's a gap, continues down, goes through the origin, goes to negative in the y direction and positive in the x direction. At this point we've got another gap but the function exists at x equals 3, y equals 0. Then we come back up and then we've got this happening from the other direction. Point there is five. All right, so part A limit is x goes to negative two of the function. So we look at x is negative two, see what's happening on both sides on this side. It's going to 2. On this side it's also going to 2. So that means the limit is 2. The next part the limit is x goes to 0 of the function. So even though the actual function value is there. Sometimes that happens that the function value is the same as the limit, so it's zero. When x is going to zero, y is going to zero. Part C. Is when x is going to three. So we look at 3, on this side it's going to negative 3, on this side it's going to negative 3, so that's the limit. And then the last one, now x is going to 5, so in this direction y is going to positive infinity, it's just going up. In this direction, it's going down. So that means it's not going to meet. So because they're not going to meet, the limit does not exist. That's the first half of the homework.